Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Fun Friday Ideas with me, Susan Morgan, your speech-language pathologist. I'm going to give you a fun activity that you can adapt at home today to work on your child's various visual skills. So what I have here for us today is our stacking activity, our stacking blocks, but I also have taken some pictures of our blocks in different arrangements. So what you can do if you have a stacking set like this or other similar block toys, go ahead and arrange them in different ways and take pictures of them and see if your child can replicate what they see. Hmm. There we go. So I went through and I created several different pictures of varying difficulty levels for the children to reproduce. By working on an activity where we are looking at an image and trying to replicate it, that is boosting various skills of our from our visual system. This task is a requirement in order to build onto other skills, especially when it comes to our reading comprehension and, as I mentioned before, articulation and verbal communication. We have to be able to look at an image and figure out how to reproduce it in order for not only our writing skills and those types of fine motor tasks where we think about this more commonly. But again, this has a huge impact on our language development. If I am unable, if I have a weakness in watching your face and how you produce the shh sound and figuring out how to round my lips appropriately, that will lead to difficulties in producing the, the word shut for shut the door. Breakdowns in this skill can lead to challenges when it comes to reading comprehension as we have difficulty creating and retaining an image inside our head as we're reading text. This also has some real life application when it comes to taking care of our daily living activities such as making a sandwich, folding our clothes, and the different steps in order to be able to complete a task from start to finish. We need to know what our finished product is going to be but we also need to be able to sequence and figure out the ways in which to produce that finished product in the end. So again, this was a real simple, quick activity. All I did was, take, was arrange it in different ways, take some pictures, send the pictures off to Walgreens, get them printed, and now I have a great OT and speech activity here at home. All right, you guys take care, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.